All right, we're going to design a dual arch uh, double flat plane appliance. And these are some 25 megabyte files from a Medit i500 scanner, so pretty standard uh, file size. And we're working on a 2017 7th gen Core i7 laptop uh, with a 1060, so pretty modest hardware. Here's what the workflow looks like. We might um, time lapse. Capture our insertion axis so that we can block out our undercut selectively. Great, we will do the lower as well. So now we're going to mark our margins. I'm just going to go flat across the top and down across the bottom and then flat across the top here. sharp areas. Let's just try one more time. Great. We'll do the All right, so now we're going to make our shells. Perfect. We'll use these curves to help define our rim. support here. nice and smooth. Perfect. So now I've got this nice um, block of wax. So we're going to join that rim to both shells. We're going to block out the large concavities. Let me show you what that's going to do. We're going to block out our large concavities from both appliances at one time. So that'll smooth in these undercuts back here. We're going to subtract, or we're going to adjust that surface so that um, we can see exactly where we're going to cut it. 
So we'll level it up there, bring it to there. Perfect. I'm going to subtract that surface from both. Now we're really getting to the finish line here. So I'm going to remesh both with um, a little bit of smoothing, a little bit of volume correction. And that's just going to smooth off that edge, um, but without rounding our appliance boundaries too much. If I hide this inner arch surface, it'll be easier to see. So there's our appliance looking nice and smooth. And then we can finalize them both to get the intaglio surface created. Great. We'll finalize the bottom. All right, and so there we are in less than seven minutes. Um, now this is a nice case, right? The the teeth are kind of well aligned, and not a lot of um, you know, not a lot of extra stuff to handle. You know, I'll make the comment that um, you know this case would have required an extra minute or two on the front end to block out this wire. Um, that's a that's a separate tool. Um, if we wanted to add some things like you know, embossing where you, know, you wanted to like put a label on here, you know, things like that. Um, you know, it's going to add a few minutes, but you know, the the core part of the workflow is in the six to seven minute range. You know, I would say so. Give yourself ten minutes, right? And that's a pretty uh, incredible number. For you know this style of appliance, I you know, I challenge anyone to show a workflow that's faster than that. Um, and if the challenge is accepted, then I just always go back to the drawing board and keep working at it. So um, thank you for watching.